Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn what is stack in Pandas. So what is your general understanding on stack? Stack means a tidy pile of something. For example, stack of books, stack of plates, stack of chairs. Now you would have already imagined, you know, keeping the books on top of each other, something like that. Stack of books. So that is the literal meaning of stack. Now what is the use of stack in pandas? Let's see it. So here on my screen, I have a data frame. Now this data frame contains multiple columns. Now through stack, can I keep each of this column on top of each other and create a smaller data frame? It is quite wider, right? So the purpose of stack is to make it small or longer from the wider data frame to a longer data frame. That is the purpose of a stack. Now this is quite helpful when you really need some kind of a visualization in a smaller way. When you have multiple columns and you would like to stack them and see the data in a very simple format. So these are two different data frames where you can see the wider data frame has been converted into a longer data frame. So that is the purpose. I'm going to give you the definitions of what is a stack and the purpose of the stack in the after we understand it in Jupyter Notebook. So let's move on to Jupyter Notebook. So the very first thing we will do, we will create a data frame. And this data frame is available in the description of the video. So please do get it from the description. Now let us print this data frame. Now if I'm going to print this data frame, this is how it is appearing. Right, it has got multiple columns, name, age, math, science. These are the different subjects in the marks. Now, the very first thing what we will do, we will understand how to apply stack. So all you do, simply write a data frame. I'm saying stacked is equals to, and then the data frame where your original data frame, df dot stack. Okay, so this is pretty simple pretty simple syntax. So I'm saying stacked is equals to data frame dot stack. Now, if I'm going to print stack, and if I'm going to hit shift enter or run it, so what happened? This particular one, this entire table, the wider table has now been transformed or reshaped into a longer table. So remember this word wider to longer table. So this has simplified for data visualization purpose. This becomes a quite simple way. And the usage of stack is also pretty simple. Now, once you have stacked it, let's say I would like to unstack it. So the current data frame, which is holding the stacked data is this one stacked. So what you do simply say stacked. So I want to put it back, right? So I will say data frame is equals to the original data frame variable. And then I will say stacked dot and here there is something called unstack what is it unstack now if you run this okay unstack and then put parenthesis now if you run this and print the data frame now you will see the data frame has transformed back getting it so first example you have seen is in a simple way now, sometimes if you see the name and age columns, I want, I don't want them like this. Okay. I want the name and age column to not to be touched. It should remain as it is and rest of it can be transformed. So in that case, how do you control the columns? Now for that, first thing, what I will do, I'll use the data frame dot set index underscore index. Now this requires few parameters. Let me write them. The first parameter that you need is what are those columns you would like to keep it constant. Okay. That you have to define in your square bracket. The first one I want is the name. So I'm saying name now comma. The next thing that I need is your age. I want to keep both, both of them constant getting it. And what I will do, I'll simply say in place is equals to two. right now if you print this what would happen you will see a different data frame 
uh, name and age. So let's see what is the error. R, uh, none of name and age are in column. So first of all, let me run this data frame because we have made few changes, right? So run this data frame and then do it again. So if you see what happened, the name, age and age remain index it has become an index now so they will not be touched now rest of your columns math science history english physics chemistry okay these are the innermost columns or the top columns right after name age this is the next columns that are coming so this columns now can be transformed so how to do that let's see it again the same way i will create as um, stat is equals to data frame dot stack okay pretty simple now if you run this and try to print stack now let's see how the output is coming if you run this what happened now your name and age remained constant and the rest of the columns like math science history all the subjects have been stacked stack means you are removing all these columns and keeping it one single column getting it math science and everything has appeared like this now what is the definition of stack so stack stacking is like taking multiple columns and transforming them into single column you have seen that all the math physics all the columns multiple columns we have taken and transformed them to single column now it is useful when you have wide data or you have many columns and want to make it long with fewer columns so you have number of columns are less then it become a long column right but more rows now it helps you now what is the need of that it helps you to reshape your data to shoot different analysis or visualization needs that is where the stack is useful now the next thing in summary the stacking is used to create a tall data set from a wide one a tall data set and unstacking is used to create a wide data set from a tall one just the opposite unst unstacking means from a tall data set you are creating a wider data set both operations help you reshape your data to shoot different analysis and visualization needs so that is the summary of what is a stack and how practically we can implement it so thank you guys for watching Please give it a like to this video if the concepts are clear around the stack. Give it a like and do write your comments. I will love to read them. Thank you. Let's meet once again in our next video. Till then, take care.